Welcome to Hair Tips with Hornskull. Today, I'll show you three very different brim types and explain how they're made. Every hat starts out with the same basic flat brim, and that really doesn't matter what type of brim we're making, because that's just the way that hats are blocked. And you know what the thing is with flat brims? They really don't want to stay flat. And that's why we shape them, to give them that tension that allows them to hold their shape much better and for much longer. And the most common brim type for soft dress hats is the curved brim. And this is made by shaping the brim over a wooden flange. And depending on the flange used, you can get more or less curved to that brim. When doing this to soft dress hats, that curve not only keeps the brim from sagging, but the tension in the brim allows it to snap up or down, which is why this is also often referred to as a snap brim. And this is the type of brim you should get if you're looking to get that iconic fedora silhouette. Another brim type is the rolled or curled brim edge. And this can be done to soft dress hats as well, but it's a lot more common with stiffer hats like bowlers, humbergs or western hats. This is done using a tool to roll the edge of the brim. And just like there are different brim flanges to make curved brims, there are different brim rollers to achieve different results. You can even add the smallest amount of roll to the edge of the brim just to help keep the shape of the brim while maintaining the appearance of a flat brim. And the last way to shape hat brims is by hand. And this is typically done when working with stiff western weight brims where you want to put a bend or a curve into the brim. This is a very common brim shape for western hats. Now remember, this is all to help keep the shape of the brim. By shaping it even just a little, you dictate how the brim will act. A completely flat brim will never stay truly flat, no matter how stiff the brim is. And without any guidance, that brim will end up looking crooked or saggy. Now that was it for today's episode. If there are any topics you'd like to hear me talk about, please leave a comment below. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found it useful. I'll be back next week with another hat tip.